Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. This is going to be an energy check for the zodiac sign Leo. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to stay, like, share, subscribe, unsubscribe, whatever you feel that your spirit is guiding you to do. I support you in it. Needless to say, I hope you've prayed, Leo, cross watcher, so that you know what messages belong to you and what doesn't. Please leave it out. Please don't take anything from anybody else's story and try to make it fit your story. There could be bits and pieces here that are, are um, reminding you of your story so you know how to uh, tell whether or not a feminine is embodying masculine and all that. It's your story. So you should be able to know and tell all right? instinctually. Needless to say, I hope you sat with yourself so you know what's for you. Here we go. Ancestors of the highest white light. Only of the highest white light. Show me what I need to see for Leo. Turn energy for Leo under this beautiful Piscean moon. Ooh. Y'all are feeling real creative. Like, yeah, Leo. You're like, ooh, you are really taking the harness in this energy from this new moon. Yeah. Okay, so we got the Seven of Cups, which is options. Let me get more into it. I just want to make sure I don't read that. That could be illusions, but because the devil is here. Capricorn energy. Ooh, okay. So, ooh. Show me what else I need to see, divine ancestors, for uh, my beautiful Leos. Leo. Yeah. Okay. Somebody need to really be careful. It's a Leo out here that's really embodying some creative energy. But right now, somebody does not want to close a cycle with you, Leo. This is either you or them. Um, The seven of cups for me with the devil a company represents addictions. This could be over drinking, overeating, pills, something of that nature in excess. Spirit is saying this is one Leo in particular. You're not wanting to close out a cycle with somebody. What's going on? After a breakup? Okay, this is a specific reading for a Leo. But overall, the other Leos, I don't know. I felt good energy. Somebody was really manifesting under this beautiful moon. I might pull that energy as well. Um, that's what I initially felt. But what's going on here, spirit? There's a Leo that needs this message. You're going to find it right on time, spirit says. Don't worry. Show me what I need to see. Yeah, you need to watch your addictions. Um, why is the Page of Wands here? Divine Ancestors, Holy Spirit. Ooh, this wanted to come out in reverse, so I'm going to let it. You could be dealing with somebody that's very immature and controlling. An Aries? Show me more. Yeah, they could be playing with your emotions. They're in heavy regret. Piscean energy. But this is this is this person, Aries. I don't know. This could be a woman body in this or a masculine. I'm feeling a little bit of both. Five of cups. Somebody's in deep regret. More cups. Somebody's drinking excessively and overindulging. And crying, drinking, crying, drinking, and crying, crying, crying. Yeah, because now they're starting to see things from a different perspective, Leo. They're hiding this. They look like they're okay, but they're not okay. Show me more, Holy Spirit, for Leo. Yeah, show me more. They could be consulting with the older woman about this. Yeah, somebody that's giving them bad advice. Yeah. She's intuitive, very intuitive. She's older, but in some way, shape, or form, she takes the truth and bends it. Well, not bends it. She holds back information. She takes for granted that this person is controlling and really in their dark side, unwilling to heal. And this person goes to, she could be a reader. Yes, Spirit is saying she's a reader. This person's been consulting this person and she just always, I don't know, she kind of feeds his fear. What the hell? Show me more. 
Yeah. He's in deep regret about you. Okay, this isn't you. This is somebody you're thinking of. I, so that's why when I first opened the door, I was like, ooh, Leo is feeling good. And then boom, they're like, message. I'm like, a oh, message for who? <laughs> Not Leo. You ain't even popped up yet. Yeah, okay. Thank you, spirit. You too could be drinking a little bit. You could be trying to circumvent the process or something with something that you're doing in excess, okay? It's some kind of addiction. Yes, you, Leo. But this person, it's like you all are mirroring each other, so to speak. But at the same time, I feel like you're trying to move forward. This person is, this person, this lady is psychic and intuitive. She's definitely a high priestess. She's older. She considers herself to be a prophetess. She doesn't really, you know, she's like a Christian witch, you know, that type of thing. Okay, show me more. Because this is, this thing took a left. I mean, took a turn for the, for the something. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Cups. Okay, water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is, why is that here? And High Priestess would represent Piscean Cancer. I always get water sign when I think of the high priestess, just in general. I don't know why. People always say cancer and Pisces only, but the moon cycles and just rebirth and the moon and emotions, I always just get water sign. Like, yeah, like the moon being affected by water. You know what I mean? Like the moon affects the tides. Yeah. And, and then we got this water in the background. Yeah. Who, who is this queen of cups, Holy Spirit? Who is this? A cancer. He could be paying people for what? The King of Swords is here and the Queen of Swords is here. This is a couple. Maybe they run some kind of spiritual practitioner business. The chariot is here moving forward. But with this being in reverse, it seems like he's having issues moving forward. He's drinking a lot and crying a lot in private. This is a very macho machismo kind of guy. Like I'm the guy, I'm a man, I don't cry. My that that this fool is crying, drinking and crying in my throat chakra. <clears throat> He's not able to speak his truth. Something's stifling him from coming towards you to speak the truth about how he feels. What is going on here? Show me more. Yeah. This person may have walked away from you, or did you walk away from this person? Mm. Here you are. Standing strong, Leo. Show me what else I need to see, Holy Spirit. Yeah, you were married to this person. They might, okay. This person may have gone in a different direction, but it's regretting it. And it's hiding it. What's going on, Leo? Yeah. But you're feeling it too. You're saddened by this. You both are, are like mirroring each other. Somebody could be overeating, over drinking, overindulging, just overindulgence, addictions. That's what I hear. Somebody wanted to win at all costs. Somebody walked away from you thinking that they got the victory. And now it's just not all that it's cracked up to be. Page of Wands. Okay, there could be... Page of Wands in this particular spread just reminds me of somebody that could be a little bit immature. But now that I'm looking at the Hierophant, this was somebody that you're married to. This could represent a child being involved. A child that was left behind that they walked away from that they're regretting. This man is in private crying. Yeah, he could be feeling a little sick. Wow. Show me more for Leo, Holy Spirit. Divine Ancestors, show me more, please. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, thank you. Yeah, something to do with money. Something to do with money. I don't know what it is. Something to do with some money. Somebody is losing money. Somebody is not as well established as they're trying to come off as like they are. It's like they want you to think, I got these big projects. And yeah, in actuality, karma has hit that ass. 
And I don't know why this person walked away from you. I feel like it was over long before this person walked away. But you definitely were married to this person or are married to this person still. Or you, you still consider this to be your husband. Yeah. You guys are hiding this. Yeah, somebody put a death to the situation, third party situation. Yeah, this person could have left you for what they thought was an empress only to find out that she is a thought and or a hoe cake and or a bald headed scallywag. And I'm not talking about her. It's just what she is. Wow. Yeah, communication is coming in from this person real soon. It's like you guys kind of play this game back and forth. Yeah. Spirit says, what I'm saying is the truth. This person went toward their wish fulfillment, but for some reason, the cycle hasn't ended for them. It's like unfinished business. It's like they have one foot in the past and one foot in the future with whomever they think this empress is. Show me more Holy Spirit for Leo. Show me Leo. Thank you. Please and thank you. Show me Leo. Yeah. Yeah. This person went and started a new beginning, okay? Yeah. After a breakup, this could be why you're doing something excessively. Be it food, you know, drugs, alcohol, I don't know. Drugs could be pills and anything in excess is 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 something that's addictive, right? This person after the breakup, after the divorce, cuz this is definitely a divorce for me, okay? After the divorce, this person went towards a new beginning with what they believe is an empress. They offered this person a cup of love. Definitely a masculine who left the feminine Leo. Okay, I don't know the story all the way. And went towards their wish fulfillment, right? Um, but yeah, okay. So the Queen of Cups is now making sense. Thank you. I just need to make sure I'm reading it correctly. Yeah. This is this person for you. Huh. Okay. Show me the new beginning. Why is this man, why is this man so sad? It seems like he got everything he wanted, but at the same time, he still has a foot in your home. That's why I said a child. Maybe you still have to see this person. Maybe you have to co-parent. You know, I don't know. Even though this person has gone off to start a new beginning, with somebody and then you got these two people that are advising this person keeping them confused very sharp you know i can't say they're keeping him confused to the extent it's like it's like he's handing them the knife because he's so reckless not reckless but not willing to follow his own intuition they know that if they keep advising him and taking his money that he'll never lean on his own you know understanding in terms of going to god for himself so it's almost like they tell him what they want him to hear. And they're like, at some point, he'll get it. You want to keep giving us your money? Okay. Like that, right? That's how. I, that's what I feel. Yeah, they advised him. They advised him. These are practitioners for sure. King of Swords and Queen of Swords is, a, is a, um, for me, a couple. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius at the bottom of the deck, right? Show me this Empress. Because I think this is what you're concerned about, Leo. You feel left out in the cold. Yeah. This person uh, is having... Okay, whoever this person is, this person wants to win this person at all costs. But this person's stressed out still over you. It's like he has a new beginning. This was supposed to make him feel better, but he's not feeling better. Something with children, for sure. Hmm. Child support? What's going on over here, Spirit? Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is a third-party situation. Yeah. Uh, this Empress or whatever he thinks is this Empress, and I'm not saying that she's not. She has. She could be cheating on him. This is justice, though. Because I feel like he didn't have th everything completely done with you before he engaged he wanted to make it seem like, you know, yeah, Emperor in Reverse is a follower. Somebody is thinking for him. This King of Swords and Queen of Swords are very dominant. They, it's like they're advisors. They advise him. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm, 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 mm. Lord. Okay. Show me the why is the three of cups here? Or maybe you felt like this person was the third party in your situation. They interfered. Yeah. Three ways. Yeah. This person's got them in a third party situation for sure. Yeah. She's an in and out energy, non committal. She's an empress. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, she's got them trapped. When I see when I see this in the magician card, normally it comes up in reverse. This reminds me of magic. Love magic, breakup spells, something to lure that person in. You in the background instinctually feel that this is what she did to break up your family. She didn't break your family up because again, I feel like this stuff was a mess long before she showed up. But then she showed up as an opportunist. And now she's starting to realize that this man ain't got the money that she thought and that he still has to support the child that you all have or which she doesn't want any parts in. It's like she's doing something, but three of wands is her looking in another direction, looking for a better option. You know what I mean? Like maybe she's starting to see that he's unstable. Something here where he's unstable and it's starting to turn her off. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely third-party energy. Third-party energy all freaking day long. Do y'all understand what I'm trying to tell you? Holy mother freaking Toledo. Whew, she could be cheating with another fire sign. A younger guy, somebody closer to her age. This guy could be a little bit older than her. A child is involved. Yeah. Uh-huh. Heavy on the Aquarius. These people, let me see what's up. Why is the King of Swords and Queen of Swords here, Holy Spirit? Why are they here? Show me what I need to see. You might be thinking that this is the love of your life. Yeah, Justice. Nine of Cups. You could be thinking that this is your person. Maybe something happened. Yeah, you want to take another leap of faith even after the betrayal. You want your family back, Leo. Whoever you are, this is specific. You're holding on to this man for dear life. And this man is holding on to whatever these people say for dear life. But when I question the King of Swords, it's like just justice. You know what I mean? It's almost like he got so caught up into allowing somebody else to block his intuition that they're now using his energy against him because this is justice. They kind of see him being a little malicious, wanting to see you suffer. When you're satisfied and you're happy, you're not in a situation where you don't want to close out a cycle. Remember, you, you went towards your new beginning. You wanted to win at all costs. And so now the cycle's been closed. The divorce is final. You still have to see this person to co-parent, okay? And this King of Swords and Queen of Swords is calling ju judgment. Like they're, they're tired of advising this person because this person is abusing their energy. This person is not listening. This person is not ascending the way that they should be. This person can't be alone. I feel like this person left your house and went right into another house. Maybe not living with the person, but like right into another relationship. Damn. Damn. Mm. Yeah, they're like, they're tired of him. He's abusing divination, abusing tarot, want to know about everybody, want to do all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Listen, if this situation that you all had was so bad and now he's free, then he should be somewhere being free. Out of your face, out of your business, with the exception of having to co-parent this child. He walked away, he left the home, and now he's over here with Miss Empress, okay, shining so bright. She could be ascending too because she's got somebody else in the background for sure. It's like he don't have the money that he said he had. And maybe she was banking on stability. I'm not going to say she didn't care for him, but I think she has better options. And they know this. So now they're just like, we told you the last... 50,000 readings, what the hell was going to happen? Are you still coming? Okay, so now th the justice is them not advising them on the fact that this empress is cheating on them and doing magic on her, on him. Because they want him to think for themselves, for himself. Yeah, this man is drinking and crying, crying and drinking. Very macho, 
very, you can't tell me anything. He's an Aries in reverse though. Controlling, overbearing, dominant, very dominating energy. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I guess. Oh, this is for one specific Leo. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I can't make it up. This woman's going to leave him out in the cold. Somehow something's going to happen. Something's going to blow up in his face. Because even though he tried to close his cycle out with you, when you're happy, you're happy. You can't ride the fence on being happy and miserable all at the same time. The two energies can't coexist in the same space. This is him. A mental mess. And this empress is feeling it. She's like, oh my God. Now you got the divorce. Now, now we can be together. It's weighing her down. It's stressing her out. She's running into the arms of this knight of wands who's younger and could be around the same age as her because this person's a little bit older, but not that much, right? And somebody's going to get left out in the cold. And guess what? The king of swords and the queen of swords know it. So he's going to get mad at them, but they're really saying you should have followed your own intuition. You abused tarot. So now we're just going to lead you to justice because this is justice this is fair they can tell that this person is controlling this person comes because he wants to know what's going on with other people he wants to affect their you know he wants to control everybody's business and destiny and they're tired of him he contacts them like all the time every day the star and they warned him okay this is what happened this they warned him about this person they told him that this person had done something like a love spell or something to keep him trapped and hold on to him because she saw abundance coming in his life or something. And this is affecting his work. So he's missing great opportunities because of this. And when they told him the truth, now all this, all these years, they've been advising this man. They've been telling him what he needs to do. He's very stubborn, doesn't want to listen, doesn't want to... He knows everything, knows it all. Want to keep a foot in your situation and a foot in the new one when really spirit was calling for him to just be by himself and go through his ascension, okay? Definitely a divine masculine in a karmic cycle, for sure. Not a bad guy, but once he goes through this, spirit's going to shake him up. They called justice on this situation. This couple, mostly the woman reaches out to him the most, Okay? Heavy on the Aquarius older woman, January, end of January. Full figured woman, might wear glasses, short hair, a wig, something like that. I can see her real clear. But listen, this is what's crazy. Somebody going to get left out in the cold. And I got a feeling it might be him. He's been warned of this. And he keeps going back because he doesn't want to be alone. Being alone and lonely are two different things. He keeps going back to this empress. But she's keeping her options open because we got the three of cups and the three of wands. She's already planning plan B. She got plan A, B, and C. She's like, well, if this don't work out, I got like five other options. <laughs> but one in particular that she in and out with for sure. Holy Spirit, show me one more for this empress. My ears are ringing. Yeah. She's she she's in it for the stability. Yep. He could be doing things for her. She, yeah. There's a lot of gossip. Sneaky behavior from her. She has a motive. She has an ulterior motive. This empress. Because I can't say that initially she was like going against him. I don't believe that. But I think once he started to reveal who he was the same way he did to these practitioners, this they run a business. This is what they do. These are older people, right? Once uh, she saw this instability, it's almost like she was like, hell no. It's You, you got to heal. You're a little immature. You keep repeating yourself. You're slightly obsessive. You just say the same thing over and over. She sees him as a basket case because, you know, initially he seemed so stable when in reality, he's not a bad guy. He just should have allowed some time in between these two situations before he just jumped in, jumped into her life. Yeah. You know, he could be doing something for her money wise or something like that. 
wanting to be with her. And she's like, just relax. You just got out of something. Like, yeah, this divorce, the ink ain't even dry on the damn divorce. The county clerk's office ain't even processed the paperwork yet. Like, damn. Yeah, and he's constantly just, he's redundant. I just hear him just, and I love you, and I love, and I know, and he cannot get out that cycle. He wants to look like he's okay, and he knows everything. He's going to go through a serious spiritual awakening where he could possibly lose everything. Just because spirit loves him enough and has to get his attention. Because these people already know. They're not telling him the same thing over and over. They already told him what she was doing, what her plans were. Um, I'm surprised she's not coming up as an empress in reverse. However, I can't call judgment on anybody, but she is being deceptive. She is. They, it, there's a lot of talk around this. And she's definitely dealing with somebody a whole lot younger than her that she feels like she could have a better future with. And this, this person is a lot younger, a lot more stable. This person is not in this. This empress has a plan. A lot of spying and gossip. Gossip and spying from both sides, Leo. Here you are right here, Leo. This is you, the ex-wife or whatever, the ex-something. You still have a child with this person. Yeah. It's a lot of gossip around this. Y'all could live in a small community, a small town, something. Mm -mm, yeah. Page of Swords, gossip, spying, gossip, and spying, and sneaking around. And yeah, she's trying to trap him. She can see that he's in a vulnerable state. And she had a lot of respect for him initially. But between her and the practitioners, it's almost like they're on the same page. Spiritually, they're communicating like this. He done. Like, they're like, he's under karma. Like, they're communicating in the spirit realm. But at the same time, she is abusing her power. She's doing something to keep him bound to her spiritually something and he's too dumb to even see it and he's been warned this is another reason they don't want to fool with him they like you know what when when this person leave you out in the cold and take you for everything you got don't call us yeah she's entrapping him mental entrapment wow she feels like she's justice she feels like she has to bring justice to the situation because now she's realizing that the person that she thought was her new beginning, her gift, is a divine masculine in reverse. And now she wants to start a new cycle with this guy. This guy is not even committal yet, as of yet, but she's willing to work on it just because he's sane. He's not, you know, when I say obsessive, compulsive, deliberately, like constantly, this man is like, you know, can't get out of a cycle. Yeah, they feel like this is justice. Right. It's fell into my hand. Judgment. Wow. Yeah, Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. The Empress could be a Virgo. Yeah, the Empress is a Virgo for sure. She doing something, honey. Whatever it is, she's 10 steps ahead of him. Lord, have mercy. He was told to leave her alone. She got options. Wow. Give me one more card for my beautiful Leos and then I'm going to get out of this energy, okay? Yeah. Yep. Phew. This Knight of Wands, this uh, Sagittarius, Leo or Aries that she's dating is who she sees a future with. Even though this person is in and out right now, she's being patient. Because she's intuitive. She already sees that this could be a soulmate or a high level divine masculine that will eventually evolve. Like she's already seen, she could do tarot. She could, she could do something spiritual. Whatever it is, she's naturally spiritual. And she knows that this could be a good match for her. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Show me what I need to see. Lord have mercy. This guy is a liar. That's all I could tell you. He's very paranoid. Very weighed down. He has to go through the dark night of the soul. When he comes out, I pray to God, he just gets it. He's not a karmic at all. He's not a karmic. He's in a karmic cycle. He's got some karma to pay back, but he's a divine masculine. He's an emperor in reverse. A man of God that is trying to go every which way around. And trying to say that God is giving his blessing on this mess and God is not. Yeah. This empress is aware of it. 
All right, I'm out after this, y'all. Yeah, here you go, right here. Judgment, spirit is saying, stay clear of this situation. You need to heal, watch overindulging, watch going back into the past, watch trying to circumvent with other lovers. You need to heal, Empress. You're a queen of wands. You have a great intuition. Yeah. And these people right here, they know what's coming. This is the kind of guy that goes from like different tarot card readers to see if they're going to tell him a different story. <laughs> Holy to freaking Leto. Strength. This is you, Leo. Be strong, okay? You will get through this. Something good is coming for you. There's a king of cups coming into your life who's really going to love you. But you got to do the work and let this guy go. This toxic cycle is over. I don't know what you did. I don't know what he did. I'm not concerned. I'm just telling you the current energy around it. And um, yeah, judgment has been called. Huge and heavy betrayal. You both could have betrayed each other. But listen, once you get past this, working on yourself, getting used to co-parenting with this person. Um, yeah, you got to Yeah, spirit say this is the truth. You got a king of cups coming in, a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. That's going to love you like you've never been hurt. I promise to God. Joy, fulfillment, happiness. Yeah. But you got to get through this cycle. Okay, Leo? Well, at first I was feeling all this good energy. Maybe that's you. And this is just recent past, present, or future. I don't know. But yeah, whatever it is, I feel like you're feeling a little bit lighter about the situation. I think this was shocking for you at first. But I think now that you intuitively know what's going on and that karma is being de dealt, you're kind of like <laughs> happy that karma is coming back to him so quickly. Like you feel like that's fair. Wow. All right. Well, I love you for free wherever you are on the planet. I promise to God I do. I'm hugging you from way over here, Leo. I love you. I love you. I love you. Until the next video, peace be with you.